All right. right. Let's see what Iron Mike or Boozer, whoever wants. We're riding Nomad again. I know him. Let him in. I don't know what that means. Riding Nomad? No, like wh why we're riding Nomad again. Oh. All right. Let's see what the old man's got to say. Maybe it's going to be him kicking us out, and so now we're, uh, we're not part of it anymore. We're Nomads again. I can see that. I would not be surprised. No, I would not at all be surprised. Okay. Interesting. Got it. Something's gonna happen. You always know that's a really big. Uh, yeah, when it's telling you, "Hey, things are different. Yeah, things are gonna be different." You, you sure? You know a way over the. Tielson Pass. He told me once that I, I told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deeks. Just <laughs> goddamn map. Shut up. Everything you. What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's camp. On. The things that you, you get out of here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. What if you could take it all back? Huh? What if you could fix it? I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's going to fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I got to try. Deacon, what have you been doing these past two and a half years? Killing so, <laughs> so many people. All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. There it is. Yep. All right, you promised me. Hey, don't touch. Hey. You don't come back. Inappropriate touch. Non-consensual. Also, clean the wax off of your. It's atmospheric, okay. <laughs> it's, it's purely it's for the aesthetic. Oh, shit. Now I gotta talk to Boozer. Uh, Interesting. Right here? Yeah. Boozer better stay. If Boozer leaves, yeah, Boozer should just be like, "Hey, I get it, but also I'm gonna be mad at both of you if Boozer leaves for you." Meeting with Boozer will advance the story, locking you out of Lost Lake as you ride south with Iron Mike. Why is Iron Mike gotta go? Just draw us a map. Make sure you take the time to turn in any last bounties. Okay, great. No, we're good. Do you want to hit the vendor at all? No, we're fine. All right. I was gonna recommend you head to Tucker's camp and buy some uh, some health packs, but yeah, that'd be good. Oh, shit. Are right. I... uh -huh. what, did... huh. what are they saying? Subtitles been turned off. We're up on Farewell Ridge. We're watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was, every one of us, man, woman, and child are now homeless. Bunch of goddamn refugees. What is that building behind you? Yeah. <laughs> what belongs to them now? We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. Yeah, he's ready to settle down. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road, where you're heading out to. But you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors all this time. Oh, he's not wearing his cut. No, he, he, he's holding his hand. Uh, yeah, but I think last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The you sold out. We were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> When we rode out of Farewell, without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone, I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. Yep. Red Nomad again, huh? Yep. I guess I am.
Hmm. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. Name the dog She's after the old leader of the game. Yeah. You find her. I like that. It's not even a conversation they had. Like, no, of course Boozer's staying. Yep. No, of course we're going. All right, we turned the volume up there. Hopefully you guys ready. couldn't hear the game. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. The game. Yeah, the subtitles turned back on in the middle of the cutscene. I think fancy cutscenes, there are no sure. subtitles for whatever what reason. Why was that one was fancy? Like, important ones, I guess. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say it was a glitch. You think? Because well, it's happened a couple of times. It won't be the first time for this hey. game. Her big Mike has taken you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but Ricky, why you got it? Why you gotta be a, a negative <laughs> Nancy? If I give up now, if I don't. Also, are billions of people this. dead? That's a lot. And how do you know? Now that I'm just gonna end up like, uh, like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer. Would you call us campers? Yeah. You go. And you find your woman. You know Ricky's all mean. bitter. Mm hmm. Hey, you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. Freaking Deacon. <sighs> yeah, me too. Freaking Deacon, man. Mm-hmm. Ready? I mean, really, it's Mike. He's the one kicking us out, understandably. But it's not like we're saying we don't want to be here. It's Mike that's telling us we can't come back. Right. Which, for us, I understand why. Because we want to see if our wife is alive. Yeah, like, can't be mad at him. And for Mike, I understand. Because we've caused some trouble. <laughs> this way. We've disturbed the peace, okay, a smidge. Yeah. A lot of crap happened that wouldn't have. Possibly without our involvement. Our bike is way better th than his. He's not going to say anything. Usually these rides are peppered with conversation. Right. They assault us with their language, with their conversation. <laughs> Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, assault. Got it. Because you said peppered. peppered, right? You're losing your edge. That sounds like Jack. Paying attention to the game. There was nothing to pay attention to. You boys raise some hell. I'm in front of you. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. No, I've killed. I've murdered lots of people. Yeah, but always warm-blooded people first. We are not going to be the same people, us and Sarah. Like, I'm really curious as to what Sarah's like. She's not going to be a ripper that we've they've already done that with the character. Too many to count. Is she going to be a captive of some like people and like she's just been a slave for a couple of years? Is she a scientist who's basically said figuring stuff out has been more important than finding you kind of thing? Did she think we were dead also? Really curious. Yeah, I'm guessing that she was told we're dead and she's been working and now she's going to be kind of like O'Brien, our voice on the inside. I think she's going to join us, join with us 100%. Oh, you think it's... Man, I'm, I've always been, just been picturing like a big dramatic choice at the end of us being like... There's not really been choice in this game, story-wise. But like, stay in, you know, stay with, I don't know, 
leave with her. Like, because she has important things to do somewhere else, but we can go with. Or stay here where, you know, we can help and... Like, stay stay at Lost Lake, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, we, we make amends with Iron Mike and all that jazz. On the note of choice in games, who did you get in the Final Fantasy uh, cutscene? Oh. FF7. Oh. Uh, Tifa, of course. Fair enough. Oh, I got Aerith. Oh. I always just when like, yeah, I definitely right. noticed that, like, when you wake up, you can go and choose. At one point, you can go and, like, I think in the sewer, right? You yeah, can go and, that's like, a big one. Yeah, and I was like, well, obviously, this is a clear choice that I'm being given. Who do, who's my waifu? And Aerith is the correct choice. I went, I went Tifa. You monster. <laughs> and if you're a jerk to both of them, and you end up tied, it's Barrett. Right. Yeah. Oh, this... Oh, man. He knows everything about this, and there are no more Rippers here. Did we actually get all of them? I don't know. I'm wondering if that's, like, a world change now, is that we won't We've just kind of dispersed rippers. them, yeah. We took down a lot of them and took out their leadership. Yeah, this has to be a... Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. You can, I, Iron Mike's going to die, right? I thought Boozer was going to die. No, Iron Mike to prove his... Well, maybe both. Maybe Iron Mike to prove his point of we don't we don't kill. We, we, mm. we try to make a better place. He's going to, like, sacrifice himself. Maybe. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. No, I think Boozer's arc is done. I wish you luck. I hope so. He now has a dog, right and he has a reason to alive. She is. Well, maybe so. If anyone. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if anyone's gonna die? Dead? What? How does that? That's an, <laughs> what kind of a question is that from you? If anyone's gonna die, I think it should be Deacon. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> Oh, yep, we're gonna get a just a, yep. a long ride without any talk and, and Which reminds me we need to we it's need to have a conversation over it because death stranding moment. our last one got demonetized oh, yeah. for the song here. So anyway, about so that let's have This a, is probably emotionally an emotionally resonant moment, but uh It's supposed to be an emotionally resonant sorry, moment. Sorry guys. Yeah. But we can talk about and I think it's a good thing to talk about kind of our journey to get to this point so far because this game, to me, has had kind of a, a whole thing on relationships. It's building on what it means to have a relationship with your wife, with your best friend, with a camp. A, yeah. a, 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 uh, an actual mechanic in the game is trust. Right. And so it's, 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 not a, it's a pretty binary or just like a currency kind of thing, but it is labeled as trust. Right. And so the whole thing is based in relationships. And so I actually kind of like this moment. I wish they would have given us more choice in it. But I do like this moment where we have a choice between relationships. Relationship with Lost Lake Camp or our relationship with our wife. And we have to choose. It's not, it's one or the other. And we're, of course, choosing our wife. Yeah. And Lost Lake Camp, my, Iron Mike, is helping us to complete this. Like, right. It's been pretty cool to see that. You know what would have been a bold choice from the developers? If at that point when he says, hey, you... If you go, you can't come back. Yeah. And have those emotional goodbyes. And then when you're getting on your bike to leave, you then are given the option to to say, you know what? I'll stay. Yeah. And that's where the story ends. The credits roll? I, no, not credits. Like, you could still drive around and do stuff, but this whole section of the map is blocked from you. Oh. Like, you could choose to, like, be at, choose to be at peace. I think that would have been a cool thing to do. It wouldn't. It would have been. It yeah. wouldn't be the canon of the game, but to give you that, like in like a less comical version of Far Cry Five. Right. Right. Or four. Both what is he? Both of them. Just screaming. Yeah, he definitely heard something. I, I feel yeah. Like I heard gunshots. Mayday! Mayday! Can yep. Oh, yep. 
Ride a nomad. What the hell? Oh, it's a bear. I just have a pit. Oh, I have a pistol and a shotgun. Oh yeah, your sniper rifle got taken. But this is a zombie bear. Reason. It's a zombie bear. Zombie bear. It's covered in barbed wire. It's kind of awesome. Man, the last one you fought, you had a car to just run around in circles with. Oh, oh no. Ooh, another motorcycle. There's a red barrel there. Yep, let's get it. Keep going, man. Keep going, man. You got this. <laughs> Very encouraging. Oh, nice shot. It. Nice shot. Good, good job, me. <laughs> you know what? If I'm just going after the barrel, then the barrel. Yep. Nice. I mean, you got yourself a little bit too, but uh, Rager Bear. This is a bear that really likes to party. I would love to just like get up on the roof and then just shoot him yeah. <laughs> at my leisure. No, it's faster than you. There you go. Oh. Oh, bad choice. But that did something. Yeah, you need to heal, though. Yeah. We're you good. have done more damage to yourself than the bear <laughs> has done damage to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we all have our play styles. <laughs> Mine is kamikaze. Another barrel over here. Nice. And there's a propane thing. You're nope. going to get yourself again. No, nah, it would have been fine. Oh, there's a little hole. Because I said so. Oh, yeah, we use this there's strategy your, Yeah, again. there's your breaker strategy. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. What is your, what is your strategy right now? Okay, to do this. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it comes. There you go. Wise. Nice. Nope. It's so fast. I, oh, I, oh, uh, it's over. It's done. I got it. It's done. Oh, man. Uh, just call me the Revenant. Just call me Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> that is my last healing. Yep, there you go. No! Oh, my gosh. The breaker all over again. You've only got half health. or You only got it halfway down. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, it sees that red barrel, too. <laughs> He's like, I've played video games. <laughs> Oh, it's on fire. It, it, it. Oh, he mad. Oh, he all mad now. I want to see him just barrel through the rocks to your <laughs> left. Just jump right over. Bears can climb faster than they can run, Jim. <laughs> no? He just he lost track of me and... uh. Which bear is the best bear? <laughs> Bears beats Battlestar Battle Galactica. Galactica. What? Nah, I was rolling. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. <laughs> Millions of families suffer every year. That's embarrassing. I can I can hardly bear it. That's well, nice of you to bear your feelings to us, though. Yep. Oh, there you go. You, there, there were like items and stuff down. No, not that way. Where were where were items? To your left, and to your left, there's also like Another a path barrel. up. Yeah. Whoa. You just kicked, just kicked something? over somebody's rock. rock uh, duck. Oh. oh, nope. Done. Dunzo. Nope. Game. Nope. Game. Yep, I got it still. I lost 20 health right there. <laughs> nope, not 30. Okay, if that happens again, I will die. There you go. Run back to the places you've already been. Good call. Well, it's safer, and there's a barrel right here still. Mullins? Rich Mullins? This is where he went? But he passed away. <laughs> Nice. It was something. Okay, now search. Oh, oh wow. Okay. it is so fast. That one was fast. Yeah, I'm not even trying. Wow. On that one. Wow. Why, why is he? Oh, is he in signaling that there's something I can use? Oh uh, no, they killed my son. I gotta get revenge. The the so first zombie revenant reference. Oh. Did they kill the baby or Have the bear's son? No. no, the revenant basically. Throw uh, a pipe bomb at it while it's just there. Leo DiCaprio gets mauled by a bear, and he's holding up a crew, and uh, he's holding up like this pack of the pe people who are fur trappers, 
and because he's so injured and they're all like the leader is like we're just gonna leave and their son his leo's son is like no we can't we're, we can't leave him to die and the leader of it kills tom hardy kills what oh didn't affect him kills leo's son and so leo like leo's like the movie is about leo uh. trying to survive and get back and get revenge there you go it was interesting well, that's what Leo finally won an Academy Award for, right? That was the one. It was It was definitely, I mean, it wasn't the best. But straight, it was by the way. Just had dead some straight. Cool stuff it in looked it. like there were some items and stuff More down interesting there. for the film, like, all filmed in natural light. Basically. Oh, never mind. Can't go all the way down here. Can't go down here. I didn't even see that for some reason. Just thinking about Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Now, the love scene between Leo and the bear, was that it tastefully was, done? It was pretty rough, but uh, <laughs> you know, I think it was consensual. The bear was okay with it. For sure. Well, that, that was, was a bad a one. Terrible throw. That was bad and Look you at should how feel large bad. that bear is. He's a big he's a big bear. He ain't small. Just you have wasting yet to my touch the bear. Yep. There you go. Now he gets up real fast from that. So to your right, there's a, not to your left, there is a little salsa b barrel. Salsa barrel? Is that what you That's just what said? That's what those are, the red barrels. They're, they're full, full of salsa. salsa. Full of highly flammable there salsa. You go. <laughs> Look at him. You got this. Nice. This is how we do it. There's a gas, gas can, tank. so it's a throwable. Yeah. Small explosive. All right, here's another, there's another one. Another big boy. Let's get him out. Oh, there's another propane thing over here too. Let's hope he's still coming this direction. You got him at half health. This has been very successful for you. It's my Where strategy. Did bear die, go? die several times, and then do it perfectly. You have lost the bear. I would go underneath the. I gotta uh, get my bearings real quick. Well, go underneath to your left. There is item straight ahead to your right. Straight ahead. Straight ahead to your right. Right there. Watch out, watch out, big man. Ooh, alarm clocks can lure them. He keeps saying watch out, and I get it, but also he's nowhere near me. It's so. just this canned dialogue. Yeah. This music's getting more intense than it was when he was five, five feet away from me. Why do they need more propane? Why do they need two propane tanks? I don't know. There are more barrels right there. Two, Two of them, yeah. Barrels. You already made. You already made that one. Barely five minutes ago. <sighs> Where is he? I mean, I would love it if he just lost interest or made the smart decision and left. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, this guy is exploding things around me. I should hey, go. There, he is. there it is. Thanks. Man, that guy is very encouraging. He is. Like, I'll give him that one. It's very nice of him. Remember, Bear is faster than you. Right. Yeah, got him. Got him. Good idea, man. Thanks. Oh, get him? I was surprised that actually got him. Or knocked him over. Didn't do much damage, but no, it knocked it him not. over and I'll take it. There was the, the twin barrels on the other side of the, yep. uh, oof. The double barrel. All right, stop. That works on so many different levels. On guns, on barrels, and on the bear. Keep going, man. Double barrel. Cause, cause there are two barrels. You telling me that you find my puns unbearable? I'm gonna kill you in the <laughs> face. You do something bear related that's not the word bear. Uh things are getting pretty grisly. There you go. Um Black Bears. <laughs> Good one. Alright. Let's I need to do something here. Yeah, you, you just I'm just been, trying to figure out like What, what, whatever you're doing now is not the answer. Right. Stamina 
like it just goes away so fast. If only there was some sort of like cocktail you could use to to handle that. There you go. I just keep like I kind of forgot that I could just straight up shoot him with a gun. <laughs> Unless the boozer lets you keep his shotgun. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's not like he can use it right now. He's only got the one hand. It's a pistol grip. He would not fire it very accurately, but... Yep. Oh, there man. I wanted to I mean, at least give him one hit, you know? Yeah, Let yeah. him feel like he's doing something. Right, right. That was uh, you being kind yeah, to the bear. He, he seems like he's having a rough day. I mean, there was an achievement that you could have gotten if it didn't touch you, but... Really? No, but I knew that would get you. <laughs> Alright, starting over. <laughs> oh, Wait, no! Really? Oh, nice. Oh, there's a plant there. Good call. Yeah, just not a thing that I've used very much. I mean, I brought up the stamina cocktail earlier. What? You. That's that's true. Wow! You come shot on. that bear real good. Nice. That was really well done. Why? 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 Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I noticed before that he moves slower when he's on fire. I for didn't some notice that. <laughs> Ugh, so lazy. I did not notice that. Mm. So when you were just standing and there his shooting was very it, low, I'm like, so. what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, as soon as we can, pause it, because we got to call this an episode. There. Oh, or not now. Okay, no, too late. It's already starting. No, it's too late. Why is it too started. late? It's clearly not. Fine. Yeah, finish the cutscene now. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Oh, what's this armband mean? You know we got a new faction showing up. Hey, Rick. I'm Deacon St. John. Oh, and they're different. They're the militia. That. Yes, sir. Exactly right. Delicious. Yep, there it is. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <sighs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, it, well, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got I don't like this game. Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay. Yeah. He's got a point. You just saved their lives. Yeah. No, one hundred percent. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No. Listen. Stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. I don't know what ranks are, Bunch of nerds. but he has one line and yeah. the other one has two lines. Right. Uh, one of the sm I, I've read Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code a lot in that book. Okay, got it. In that book, Robert Langdon, we're gonna stop here anyway. Yeah, is the main character. He's a symbologist. And there's at one point he he talks about like in a lecture or something that the very like the like a upward arrow or a downward arrow are ancient or just like symbols that in some context have represent male and female in a way. Right. Like, a, right. You know, and generals and whatever and rankings in the military Basically, the line he then says, the more penises you have on your shoulder, yeah. the higher rank you are. And yeah. It's hilarious. It's true, though. Well, sure. In real life, also. The more penises you have, the better you are. 100%. Yeah. That's why I have 37. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway. In a, in a bye. Drawer, nope. In a drawer upstairs. Ah, it got worse. <laughs> bye, guys. Sorry bye. about that. <laughs>